So how are things going over there, bud, on your side of the shop? Fine. Nice and quiet, Corey. We in a good mood today? Good enough. Maybe that's what's putting you in a bad mood too much, uh, Mountain Dew. Huh? Okay, what we got here, we got a Cadillac desk we're building, aren't we? Or, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, did I say we? You. Me, bud. Now, if you look right here, you use that camera kind of zoom, you know, when I move my hands, move down with it, okay? If you look right here, I just got done building all the pedestal. Just like I told you I would, just like I told you I was gonna show you. Now, I got wheels in the back, that's how I make my couches. And then I make a little stand thing that puts on here and you can roll it. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah, no fucking comment. Good. Thank you, co-signer. And then, what I do is I get some big 5 8 bolts, and I got a lock bolt there. I go ahead and weld the nut on there. Can you zoom in on that, Corey? Right there where my finger is, bud. Look at that. And now you can zoom out. And I've already beefed up the quarter panels. If you look real close here, everything's real tight. So what I gotta do now is I got the pedestal feet. And I cut these out, I rounded the corners off, and I'm gonna weld these to the bottom of them bolts just like that. See? Does that make sense to you, Corey? Yeah. You in a better mood today, bud? What does that mean, bud? People can't hear you when you're doing this. Don't you hate it when your kids do that? No, you really want me to tell you what I really hate about what kids really do a lot that you do? Put your fucking hands in your pocket and stand there. I hate when kids are got their hands in their pockets there. What's up, man? What's going on? Where they got their hands in their little cubby. Hey, what's up? I don't know. Duh. Okay. So I'm gonna lift this up. What are you watching for? This is a very exciting moment, dude. Okay. And then we're gonna level it out, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, hold our feet on. And this has been an all-day job since about 7 o'clock this morning. Of course, Corey didn't get here until 12 o'clock, but he's supposed to be here at night. So let's uh, set that down. Did you get a good look at that pedestal I made, Corey? Where I mounted the frame to this, came back around, I made all this, look. Okay, then I made that and that, I have it over here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set it down, and then I'll have to adjust them legs and use my level. And we should be looking at almost a semi-rat rod 1956 Cadillac couch. You kind of excited about that, Corey? Are you excited about that, Pete? Yeah, kind of, dude. I think it's going to be badass. That's all that matters. Corey's still upset about the situation when people's out of town. Oh my gosh, look at that, dude. Wow. Can you get the whole thing in there in one shot, or are you too close, or? Far away. Just stand back here, bud. So as you see, now the bumper's mounted solid. Did you see that cord? Huh? The cord panels are solid. Okay, all the way around. The whole thing's solid. Alright, now I got this brace temporarily. What I gotta do is we're gonna put the hood on here before Corey goes home. And then I can cut all that out and get that done tonight. I think you can help me with that, Corey. I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much, Mother. Okay. So there you go. What do you think, bud? Sure is rusty. It's supposed to be, dude. Okay. It's a rat rod couch. Rat rods are rusty, aren't they? Yeah. I'm gonna put the cowhide in there, bud. Did you see the cowhide I have? You're not painting it or anything? No. We're gonna steam clean it and put some, uh, some of that PPG uh, satin clear on it. Cool. What do you think of that? I might polish the bumper up a little bit. Maybe just leave that license plate on there. What do you think? It's 1970 though. Yeah, we'll probably put a 56 on it. Is that a license plate? Huh? Is that a license plate? Yeah, it's a license plate. Texas, bud. When were you born? 
1979. Damn, look at that. See, your Uncle Pete is going to go ahead and give that to you, but you weren't born that year. So, it's useless. It looks pretty useless to me. Okay. So, do you like our Rat Rod couch, Corey? I'll have to see it down. What do you think so fucking far, dude? What looks, do you think so? Looks good. It's kind of rough, though. It's supposed to be rough. That's the design we're going with. See what I'm saying? Now, like I said before, you've never seen, okay, a Southwest Rock Custom Peter J. Hughes couch, okay? You might have seen a Cadillac couch somewhere where you've been. You might have seen a fiberglass couch in some stupid little restaurant you're in, but you've never seen my couch. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's got to go up that much higher, so you know what that means, buddy? That means I got to go to the fucking uh, hardware store to get some bolts. Okay. All right, there you go. I got to go over to the hardware store and get some bolts. The ones I got are too short. Corey, thanks a lot. All right, we worked on our uh, Cadillac desk all day yesterday. Did I say desk? Boy, it's fucking early, isn't it? It's seven o'clock in the morning, give me a fucking break. We worked on our couch. Okay, our rat rod, this is gonna be a rat rod couch. It's gonna be pretty nice, too. So, we worked on our rat rod couch all day yesterday, and uh, we got the pedestal made, and if you look real close, it's sitting real nice, and it's real strong. You see those cloud shoes? What do you think of those, huh? Thanks to Corey there. See, I gotta wear my clown shoes every day that I bought last year, not this fucking year. But, uh, that's an inside joke between me and Corey, Mr. Fucking, uh, whiner. I broke every fucking day. Like, not anybody else in the fucking world's broke except him, right? So, what I did, I put the deck lid back on the car. Now, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take my nice bright yellow tape here. Okay, because I know you can see that right there. I'm gonna kind of basically outline what I'm gonna do. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this back end off, and then I'm gonna straighten all the back edge of our couch. But we gotta make an opening for our seat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come straight down this line and I'm just going to do this real quick, just so you can see. See there, there's the opening. Then, I'm going to come around. It's probably going to come a little farther. So about right there, see? I want to do this nice and easy. I'm trying to show you, the viewer, what the fuck is going on. That's basically what it's going to look like. Like that. Right there. And we'll be cutting it off. You can kind of see what we're talking about. Okay, I'm going to cut it all the way back to here. Come around. And then I'm going to cut it out like that. We don't want this lip. Okay, this lip has got to be gone. Now the reason that lip's got to be gone is because when you're sitting on the couch, the bumper's already sticking out. And we don't want the back of our leg right here hooking on that because we already might have a possibility of our leg right here, okay, like I said, right there, hitting the bumper, okay, once we sit back. So, let me get all that cut out, and you're going to get a better view of what we're talking about as far as the couch goes. And you're going to see what it looks like more than it is right now. And there you go. Alright, this is Pete. We're going to cut that bastard out, and we will be back. Trust me. Corey isn't at work yet, because Corey is always on permanent vacation until he needs a few bucks in his pocket. And Berno, we know where he's at, okay? So, uh, there we go. Take it easy, this is Pete. We'll be back. Thank you very much.